Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is a Patreon video. Big shout out to all my patrons. Uh, this is a video that's containing some of the perks. Um, as you guys know, there's various perks associated with my Patreon page if you choose to donate to the channel. Uh, so be sure to check it out. Today, um, one of the perks was asking questions in my Patreon base building video. Uh, the, it's the lowest perk tier, I believe. So um, we have two questions, two people decided to drop in some questions, and I apologize for not getting to them sooner. Uh, but at least the month still hasn't passed. This is actually for September. Um, if you want to be in the October Patreon video, uh, be sure to check out my Patreon page and uh, select whatever tier you want by the end of the month, and that way you can uh, receive the perks for October because they're given out at the end of the month and into the next month. I'm a little bit late this month. But anyway, let's get into the questions today. I have two uh, questions to talk about. The first one here is from uh, Jacob Darzik, I believe is how you would say it. And he asks, how do you decide what to put in a CC? Um, it depends a little bit on town hall level. Of course, you have the meta at each town hall level. You see typically Lava Hounds at Town Hall 10. You see typically uh, Baby Dragon Valk CCs at Town Hall 9. And Town Hall 11, you see probably maybe like 60% small uh, CCs, including Valks, Baby Dragons, and then maybe uh, like 30, 40% is going to be Lava Hounds. So that's kind of what you typically see. But um, when you're deciding for your own base, it, it has to do with what is the, kind of the meta and also what personally fits your base, the specific base you have. So if you're a Town Hall 9 and you're worried about maybe a Queen Walk on your base, after you build the base, you should never consider a CC while you're building the base. You want to build the base as well as you can afterwards, keeping in mind um, how, how the base is set up, maybe what some friendly challenges show you about it. Whatever the, the go-to strategy is going to probably be, uh, you want to defend against that. So if you think it might be susceptible to a queen walk, maybe put a lava hound in the CC or a max Pekka or something like that that's going to be good at taking out um, the queen or at least delaying her for long enough to ruin the attack. You can also think about a golem or something like that. Uh, whereas if it's just going to be a kill squad more likely or it's going to be like a mass laloon, you might want to put a baby dragon valk wizard combo or something like that. So it depends on the specific base, but what I would recommend you do to find out is just to try an FC, um, try different CC compositions when you're doing your friendly challenges and see what works. Um, some general stuff, uh, look at that king over there in the corner with that Tesla farm, uh, some general guidelines. Um, I don't know which town hall level you're referring to, but at town hall 9, I would say look to typically by default use, if you're not sure, go with a baby dragon, valk, wizard CC, some combination of those. And then um, depending on how susceptible it is to a queen walk, or if you want to try to throw off the attacker, you can do a P.E.K.K.A., a Golem, or a Lava Hound to see which one of those works. But by default, the small CC tends to be a little bit better at Town Hall 9. At Town Hall 10, uh, I'd say Lava Hound is definitely the default. But if, you, um, if you're if you a really low-level base that might get hit by miners, you can do a Golem. That's a good way to defend against miners. And uh, you can do a small CC if you're a max Town Hall 10 trying to uh, defend against a dip attack because that can sometimes defend better than a Lava Hound can against Town Hall 11s. Uh, if you're a Town Hall 11 yourself, I'd say go with the small CC unless a Queen Walk or some kind of... Um, some kind of queen walk or queen charge is going to be uh, likely then you can throw like a lava hound in but the lava hound can be exploited because it gets lured and killed with a baby dragon often so those are some basic guidelines hope that helped but the main point is just test out the base see what works and don't build your base with a cc in mind you want to put that in at the end based on how your base does and friendly challenges and stuff like that um, and I would say try to make your CC difficult to lure when you can, especially if you have a CC that can be exploited easily when it's lured out. Um, okay, next question here, the second one is going to be from Tony. Uh, what are the first things that you personally start thinking about when making a base? Uh, do you think of what you're trying to defend? Do you automatically have compartments in your head planned out? Um, a good question for me when I'm going to make a base, the first thing I'm thinking about is the basic design. What's it going to look like? At Town Hall 10, which is where I build my bases, um, 
I typically will have a concept in my head. Maybe I want to have uh, both infernos kind of like isolated on either side of the base. Maybe I want to have one inferno in the middle, one kind of offset on the opposite side of the queen. Uh, different stuff like that. I have the basic concept in my head. Then I put the really important buildings down next. I put like the infernos, uh, maybe the queen altar, the CC. I put all those central buildings down with some walls around them. Um, and then I fill in the compartments. So a lot of people do it different ways, but I personally, once I have the essentials down, I like to first put the compartments down before I then fill them with buildings. So I don't put the entire skeleton of the base down. I don't put all the compartments down first, then fill it in. I, I kind of do a half and half. I do the important parts, um, the Inferno Towers, uh, maybe at Town Hall 9, this might be the CC, some of the Expos, um, the air defenses you could say are probably very important uh, in terms of how they're laid out on a base. Put the essentials down first, then I fill in the com compartments around them, then I fill in the exterior compartments with walls, and, uh, and once all the walls are placed, I can still adjust the walls later based on uh, how the buildings end up going down, but I like to get all the walls down, that way I don't start building stuff, putting stuff down, and then realizing I don't have enough walls to finish off the idea I was thinking. Uh, so. Once you have the essentials down, the base is uh, built, I would recommend getting all the walls down and see what the base is going to look like. Then you can, based on that, put some of your uh, defenses down, fill it in with trash building storages, stuff like that. Um, so I'll try to do more live base build videos to try to help, help you guys because um, that's a series I used to do more. Um, and I want to continue doing that because it's a fun series to do. Maybe I'll do a Town Hall 9 one or something soon. Uh, so. In terms of thinking exactly what troops I'm trying to defend, to answer the other part of the question, um, of course, in the back of your mind, you got to be thinking about what you know, what the meta is, what is, uh, what's being used most commonly, and you want to try to make someone have to use a very technical, difficult attack to beat you. You don't want them to beat you with the easy stuff. So if you're a Town Hall Nine. Don't let them beat you with like a just a stoned uh, hobo or so, something like that. Try to make it harder. Try to make them do like have to do a queen walk or some kind of uh, complicated laloon or something a little bit harder. Don't give them an attack that has a lot of room for error because you want to make it as difficult as possible. Um, I recommend that um, you, if you're a Town Hall 9, really think about using a Troll Tesla. That is an effective thing to use. Um, at Town Hall 10, not as much because you tend to be scouted. Uh, let's see, any other parts of the question um, that I can still answer here? Um, I think that pretty much covers it. Just, uh, just know what, at Town Hall 10, for example, know that you want to make sure the base can defend well against miners, um, against for dip attacks, it's probably going to be a minor dip or a dragon dip. So if you're a, if you're a town hall ten that typically gets dipped, those are the two you want to defend against. Um, don't don't try to plan out the base too much in your head. Kind of go with it as you start to lay stuff out, but have the basic idea there and know what the two main things you're trying to defend against are. Uh, one thing that's kind of a nice tool you can use is uh, you can copy a base and. Uh, post it or like uh, copy and paste the base in a different slot make adjustments and then you can fc the two different bases alongside each other once the cooldown's over and see which one does better so that's one way you can kind of work it out um and uh and, and see which base is gonna which version of the base is going to be better more effective and then as as the last question kind of hinted at then you can start to decide what cc you want to do stuff like that so Anyway, those are the two questions. Hope you guys like the answers to them. Once again, uh, you have a few days still uh, before the end of October to sign up for the Patreon uh, page uh, and uh, receive some of the perks if you're interested. So that will do it for this one. Thank you to all my September patrons, and I hope to see you guys again in October. So uh, perks will actually be coming out pretty soon, hopefully for October, as soon as this month gets over. I'll get to doing that. So. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bisectatron out.